Welcome back to a new episode of MCTV. I'm Evan Brown. And I'm Jay Saman. This week, we'll look at a new women's ministry on campus, the football home opener, and the volleyball team breaking records. Let's get you caught up. Delight in their ministries first year of being an MC organization, organization, Delight Ministries is a women's Bible study and has already gotten great support across campus. Delight director Megan Collins explains who they are and how important building an open community is to them. Delight Ministries is a um, Bible study where we focus on um, cultivating community between girls on campus no matter what um, major group organizations we're a part of. We decided in fall of last year that we needed to hit one on campus at Mississippi College um, because there were a few places where we were just lacking community and we were like, we want this and like everyone talks about going to college and having all this community, which you do have, but the light, there's no like restrictions to it. Like anybody can come, um, no matter like what your background is or what tribe you're in, what organizations, what major, like everyone can be here. And uh, so we were hoping to find that and that's why we started it. For those interested, meetings and Bible studies are held every Thursday night at 7 in the old 1826 location. Jay Salmond, MCTV. There will be open auditions for MC's fall production of A Christmas Memory, directed by Dr. Seawright. Auditions are open to all students and will be in Avon 107 on September 22nd at 3 p.m. and September 23rd at 2 p.m. The Choctaw football team had their home opener last Saturday against Kaiser College. Here's Avery Dugan with the story. Mississippi College football team had their home opener this past Saturday against a top 10 NAIA squad in Kaiser College. Although the Seahawks hung with the fellow GSC member and Division II runner-up Valdosta State last week, the Choctaws cruised to a 26-8 victory. Nine different Choctaws helped out in the rushing attack for 261 rushing yards, while quarterback Dante Smith-Moore threw for 109 yards and a 53-yard touchdown to Jacob Stevens in the first quarter. The reigning GSC Freshman of the Year, Marcus Williams, also added on two more touchdowns for MC as well. Next week is another home game for the Choctaws as the Crusaders of North Greenville come to Clinton for the first conference game of the year with the kickoff at 2 p.m. Avery Dugan, MCTV. Although Friday's games were moved because of the rain, the soccer teams had big GSC matchups against Montevallo this past Sunday afternoon. Here's Avery Dugan with the story. The MC soccer teams had a critical early GSC matchup against Montevallo this past Sunday. On the men's side, the Choctaws fell 5-2. Although it was tied at one at the half, the Falcons broke away in the final 20 minutes, scoring four more goals. Noah Wagner had a two-goal match for the Choctaws. After Sunday's match, the men are now 3-2 and two on the season. For the women, it was a different story. In a game where both teams were receiving votes in the national polls, the Lady Choctaws dominated. In the 6-2 win, Aaron Hederman secured a hat trick, while Beatrice Curry had two goals of her own. Margarita Giobalato put the finishing nails on the coffin in the 74th minute to pick up a big GSC win. With it, the now 4-1 Lady Choctaws are now ranked number 12 in the top 25. Avery Dugan, MCTV. The volleyball team had their conference opener last night against Christian Brothers with an opportunity to tie a record. Here's Charlie Williams with the story. The Lady Choctaw volleyball team had their first GSC game of the season Tuesday night at home against Christian Brothers. A large number of MC students came out to support, and the team did not disappoint as they won the match handily in four sets. Underclassmen Lydia Paulette and Caroline Chastang combined for 29 kills on the night, while Lexi Laurendine continued her passing showcase with 26 assists. Even though MC dropped the third set, it was only the fourth set they have lost all season. With the win, the Lady Choctaws improved to 10-0, which ties a school record for the best start to a season since 1994. And although they are still yet to receive votes in the top 25, they'll have a chance to make more waves in their next matches on the road this coming week. First, it'll be at Montevallo this Friday night at 6 p.m., followed by Alabama Huntsville on Sunday at 1 p.m. For MCTV, I'm Charlie Williams. That's all we have for the show today. To see all of our stories and to send us your ideas, visit us at blueandgoldmc.com. And be sure to follow us on our social media at blue and gold underscore MC. For MCTV, I'm Evan Brown. And I'm Jay Saymond. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.